a small tribe of hunter-gatherers prepares for a hunting expedition to hunt for the winter's food in Upper Paleolithic Europe 20,000 years ago. Its leader Tao raises his adolescent son Keta and invites him, along with Keta's friend Kappa, to join the hunting party. Tao's wife Ro worries that Keta isn't prepared to join the hunt, but Tao is confident that he is, so the hunters leave. Tao asks Keta to kill a wild boar they've captured as a test, but Keta balks. One night, a large cave lion notices the party's fire and charges through their circle, grabbing Kappa before anyone can intervene. The tribe declares him dead after overhearing the fatal struggle in the pitch black. In order to represent the transition of one spirit to the afterlife, Kappa receives a memorial service in the shape of a cairn. The hunters eventually come across a herd of steppe bison, which they make a valiant effort to stampede off a cliff. In the midst of the confusion, the bull rushes towards Keta and throws him over the cliff's edge, leaving him holding onto the rough cliff edge. Keta slips out of his hold and falls to a higher ledge, breaking what appears to be his leg and being knocked out. Tao tries to descend to reach him, but Sigma, a fellow hunter, stops him and assures him that Keta is dead and that there is no way to reach him anyway. Tao, who is grieving, conducts another funeral ceremony as the tribe departs. Keta is wakened by a vulture that believes he is dead. He strangles the bird to death before attempting to descend the rest of the cliff by climbing. The ravine below floods as a result of an unexpectedly sudden rainstorm. Keta slips and plunges into the water. He pulls through, splinting his broken foot before climbing back to the cliff's edge. He realizes he must make his own way back to the village after seeing the memorial cairn his tribe left behind. Later, a pack of vicious wolves attack and pursue Keta. Keta manages to flee up a tree and wound one of the pack members, leaving the others behind. Keta treats its wound out of compassion for the creature. He slowly gains the wolf's trust and provides it with food and water before establishing his dominance by eating first. Without the wolf, he sets out for the village, but it pursues him. They learn to hunt animals together as their friendship develops. Keta gives the wolf his name, Alpha, along the way. A pack of wolves approaches them in a menacing manner one night. They identify Alpha as Keta's friend as he approaches to greet them. The pack flees, and Alpha follows them with Keta's approval. As the season shifts into winter, Keta continues on his own. He comes across a pack of wolves feasting on a carcass on a frozen lake. He runs to them after spotting Alpha, but the ice breaks and he falls through. After Alpha rescue him, Alpha decide to join Keta on his journey. They discover a man outside his tent who has frozen to death, and they scavenge a bow and arrow from him before continuing on their journey. Later, they look for refuge inside a cave from a pack of cave hyenas. Inside, a cave lion confronts them and charges at them. Alpha fights the animal viciously. Keta manages to save Alpha by using the bow to kill the lion during the battle. As the result, Alpha was severely injured and is now having difficulty moving. Keta carries Alpha although he is hurt and starts coughing up blood. After nearly collapsing from exhaustion, Keta manages to locate his village, where he is reunited with his relieved and amazed parents. As the village healer attends to both of their wounds, Alpha gives birth to a litter of puppies. Much to Keta's surprise, Alpha is later revealed to be a female. The tribe formally accepts Alpha and her pups as members, and Alpha and Keta raise them. That's it for today. Thank you for watching our video, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel in order for you get notified in our future uploads.